what I'm going to do is connect a voltage source across this resistor, and I'm gonna draw a circuit for you in just a second so we can see what it looks like. But essentially, there's nothing else in this circuit other than a 10 ohm resistor. You can see it printed right here. So what I wanna do first is I'm gonna run a known current through it, and I'm gonna run five volts through it. Uh, we're gonna do a, a few little ex examples here of five volts, just gonna get some practice with Ohm's law. So what I'm gonna do is dial in my supply. It's hard to get it exactly, to, this particular supply, to exactly 5.00 volts, so I'm gonna leave it here at 5.01 volts, the current flowing in this circuit uh, is equal to V over R. But in this circuit, uh, the voltage was five volts, so I'll put five volts there, and the resistance was 10 ohms. Now I'm working in the base units of volts and ohms, so I'm in volts and ohms, and that's five over 10, which you all know is one half, and so the current flowing in the circuit should be one half or 0 0.5. What unit? Well, we already said volts base unit is, uh, uh, the voltage is in volts, the ohms, the base unit is omega and ohms, and so amperes is going to be the base unit, so amps. And that's exactly what we saw. When we dial this thing, when we turn it up, we see the current going up in lockstep with the voltage, right? And when I get over here to five, as close as I can get to five without really overshooting it, it's not gonna be perfect, then I get 0 0.496. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.